do a little chick chick with a onion look good too for that deer meat. Mm. Hey y'all, welcome back to Homegrown Country Homestead. How y'all doing? Well, it's raining outside today and I'm stuck in here and well, I decided I just want to make a video for y'all today and uh, I thought about this for a long time and said, well, today would be a good day to do this. Uh, hunting season over with as far as deer hunting and uh, while I was out there deer hunting, I, I thought about a lot of times and said, well, you know, a lot of people may not uh, have knowledge or really, you know, read much about, you know, hunting cartridges and Maybe they're considering buying a gun and don't know which way to go. And I thought this might be a, a, a good video to put out, you know, maybe help somebody. So let's get started. The first one we're going to look at today is a 22 long rifle. That, that particular round is a great round if you consider rabbit hunting or, or squirrel hunting. Um, it's cheap ammunition. It's got low recoil or hard, nothing really. It doesn't mean have no recoil. And that, when I say recoil, I'm referring to, you know, far as, you know, pushing or kicking against your shoulder um, and um, it's, it's a qu pretty quiet cartridge you know it doesn't make a loud pop really um, it's a great cartridge to start kids on or somebody's never shot before to get used to uh, you know learn how to shoot a rifle and trigger control so I definitely recommend that uh, as far as a rifle you're considering uh, doing any kind of hunting as far as a small game there the second one here is a 223 Remington that's another good cartridge. Um, this one right here is particularly uh, used a lot of times for varmint hunting, like say coyote, fox, different things like that. But uh, a lot of uh, modern uh, uh, firearms are being made in this 223, and a lot of people's hunting a deer with this cartridge. I've actually uh, shot one deer with this cartridge. Uh, I'm not particularly impressed uh, with it myself as far as deer hunting. But it, it well accurate, adequate, uh, accurate shot placement. You know, it will uh, do the job. But um, it's on the lower end as far as doing uh, taking deer with, it, in my opinion. And it, it is just my opinion because uh, you know, there's not starting no argument on cartridges or anything like that. This just kind of inform you, uh, you know, my opinion, uh, what I'd recommend. Uh, because this actually been a lot of uh, deer three years harvested with a little 22 long rifle but you know I don't recommend that either but um, 223 uh, is cheap ammunition also uh, doesn't doesn't have much recoil to it uh, it's gonna have a lot more muzzle blast than the, say the 22 but um, it's a uh, it's a cartridge really good for starting out you know learning to shoot uh, that's what Summers uh, started shooting, 223. And if she if she feel comfortable with that round to go deer hunting with, I'm going I'm going to let it too. But uh, I'm going to try to work up to a different caliber uh, if I can, different cartridge. Uh, but if not, that's what she'll be hunting with. You know, if she decides to go with a rifle. This next one is a 7.62 for 39. Uh, it is a a good round. I, I kind of put in the same category as a 223 as uh, far as a you know uh, a low recoil round but it's a 30 caliber it's got a bigger bullet um, I prefer this uh, round right here as far as deer hunting over uh, this one right here just because of the caliber it's a bigger caliber um, this this round would be good you know for deer or you know you could you know coyote or something like that too but um, I don't really hunt coyotes, uh, so when I refer to these cartridges here, most of this is going to be for deer hunting, what I've used them for. Two, uh, this uh, 7.62 39, um, it's cheap ammunition also. They're starting to make some bolt action rifles, uh, chambered uh, in this round, so that's a good round to consider, especially for a child or somebody who's, say, recoil sensitive. Uh, and now, uh, not many rifles out there chambered that maybe I think maybe uh, three of them right now tops four in a bolt action rifle the rest of them is going to be semi-automatic like the SVS and AK-47 but uh, the next round is a all-time favorite you know for many many deer hunters uh, it's a 30-30 Winchester <clears throat> this is a really great round um, 
I kind of can put this 7.62 39 millimeter with 30 30 as far as power range, you know, like 100 150 yard gun uh, with modern uh, bullets and stuff. Some of these cartridges actually, you know, shooting out there further with a lot of accuracy 200 yards. Uh, but I'm referring to standard, you know, ammunition right now, uh, not no reloads, anything like that. That is another good uh, cartridge. Um, it's, it's normally chambered in lever action rifles, but you could probably get in single shot rifles also. I, I know some of the uh, manufacturers are uh, manufacturing single shots. The next one is a 243. Uh, that's another lo low recoil, but as we step up here, they're going to have more recoil as you go up. And uh, 243, uh, that's a that's a really good uh, uh, cartridge for deer hunting. And a lot of kids, that's where I want Summer to work herself up to, to 243. That's a good uh, cartridge right there, in my opinion, as far as uh, deer hunting and, and as far as low recoil. And uh, recoil could be different for different shooters. Uh, like I say, it's just one of the things you just got to experience yourself. You have some 200, 250 pound men that uh, prefer shooting, say, a 243. And they're comfortable with it, and that's and that's what they want. And on the other hand, you might have somebody, you might have a young lady that prefers shooting um, a 300 Magnum, and that's what she likes shooting. So you know, every cartridge, you know, that I mentioned here, you know, it, it you'd have experience, you know, uh, shooting and see if that's something you're comfortable with. But I kind of give you, a, you know, you can do a lot more in-depth research about the recoil and all that, and how many foot pounds they prefer to. Uh, recoiling foot pounds, uh, but uh, this cartridge here, like I say, 243, that'd be a good cartridge, you know, soft uh, recoiling cartridge. Uh, the next one we're talking about right here, this is going to be a uh, 7 millimeter 08. Um, it, it's a, it's, this is actually, this round here is actually the round that my wife hunts with. Um, it is a good cartridge. It's uh, it's got more recoil than 243, but this cartridge here is a very versatile cartridge. Uh, you know, you could actually, uh, depending on where you live, what you hunt with, uh, what kind of animal you hunting. Uh, seven millimeter away, you know, it's applicable to say elk hunting, deer hunting, uh, bear hunting. So that that's a that's a good round uh, far far as far as any of them. Um, it might be on a minimal size, you know, for, you know, elk. But all this is debatable, you know. Everybody got their own opinions, you know. So, that's just my opinion, you know. Uh, but it would be a, a cartridge that you could elk hunt with. And, uh, like I say, it's just a slow recoil. Uh, they have a 7 by 57 millimeter. It's a it's an older Army, I call it like an Army cartridge. Um. Uh, I've never uh, shot a uh, deer or anything with that cartridge. Um, it's considered, you know, it's kind of comparable to 7 millimeter, millimeter 08 as uh, far as power and everything. It's just a little bit longer uh, cartridge there, but if it's hand loaded, you know, you could probably wring a little bit more power out of it there. And uh, so that's a, that's a good little cartridge. And it's not really a uh, stout recoiling cartridge. And then you have your. Uh, 308 right here. Now that's a 30 caliber. Uh, that's a great all round short action type cartridge. Uh, it has a little recoil to it, uh, but not much, you know, in my opinion. Uh, 308 is a very good uh, round as far as deer hunting, elk hunting, bear hunting. Uh, when I say bear hunting, uh, I've never shot any bear or anything like that. We don't have bear. <laughs> we don't, well, we, we have bear in Mississippi. We can't hunt bear. And we have a few of them, you know. But uh, I'm, I'm talking about referring to his black bear. Uh, you know, I'm not talking about going grizzly hunting and all that kind of thing with uh, a cartridge like this, but like a black bear. But uh, that's a great cartridge right there also to consider. Uh, the next one up is a 270. Uh, 270 is another cartridge that's very popular uh, down here where I live. Um, it's, you know... You, like I say, bear, elk, any, any of them uh, game animals like that, it'd be, be, be fine for that. And if you look at the next one I'm talking about, is a 30 out 6. 
the case is, you know, similar. It's pretty much the same case, uh, just necked up uh, to a different caliber on the 30 out six. Uh, that that's a great cartridge. That's that's an old cartridge, and uh, just you know, I, I say the 30 30, which you know, most of them are lever action rifles, and a 30 out six is probably the two most popular, or I can say. Yeah, I was going to say it probably the most two popular uh, rounds that were ever, you know, that just created that this people's hunted with, you know. More deer have probably been killed with the 30-30 and that 30 out 6 cartridge than any other um, round. So, you know, you can't go wrong with 30 out 6. And 30 out 6 actually, you know, grizzly bear, you know. Um, it might be on the lower end, but you know, a 30 out 6 is capable of, you know, taking grizzly bear. As, as well as a 308, um, you know, uh, with the right uh, cartridge reload, and, you know, got more power and stuff. You know, a lot, a lot of these cartridges the now they're they're making you get they're they're called high energy uh, loads, uh, and say a 308 is loaded up to say uh, specs of a 30 out 6. So that's something to consider, and also it's something that I haven't really talked about. You can take a 30 out six and buy ammunition that's a low recoil, so it doesn't have as much uh, recoil, but still, you know, a 30 out six is just a good, say, uh, say 200 yards, and it it probably kicks about like a 243 would. So that's something to consider. If something that you think you might want to work up to, but really, you know, not really sure, you know, which way you want to go. Might want to consider getting a uh, bigger cartridge, you know, and buy some of that uh, lower recoil ammunition and start out that way and work yourself up to the regular ammunition if you're not really sure. But uh, you can get that uh, low recoil ammunition in like 30 out 6, your 308. Uh, I think you get in a 7 millimeter 08 also. So that's just something to consider there. Uh, especially, you know, if, you, if you're going to buy a gun for your uh, child and you really not, you know, you don't want to buy another gun when they get, you know, older and you can buy, say, something, just let them shoot the low recoil ammunition until they get older, you know, and get used to the um, the regular ammunition. But uh, the next one up is uh, 300 Magnum. That that That's going to have a fairly stout recoil to it. Uh, so anytime you jump to a Magnum, you're jumping to more recoil, but you're jumping to a whole lot more power and a flatter uh, shooting trajectory, just because it's you know it's the faster velocity. But that's a, that's a great round. Um, like I say, you can pretty much hunt anything in North America with a 300 Magnum, and uh, that's very popular and has been for years. The next one is a 375 H&H &H Magnum. Uh, that's an extremely stout round. Um, pretty much you can harvest anything in the world with a 375 H&H &H Magnum. Um, I've not shot anything with this uh, round. Um, I acquired a gun because I wanted, wanted one chambered in that. But that's also, it could be hand loaded down to reduced loads to, uh, you know, if you want to hunt uh, deer with it. Uh, but you know, I mainly got it because I wanted a rifle chambered in that round. And but you know, you can hog hunt, and that's now that I, I forgot about hogs. You know, if you have a uh, hog problems and you want to buy a farm for hogs, pretty much any farm. I mean, any cartridge right here that I've mentioned, um, from a two twenty three, you know, you know their hogs been killed. You know, twenty two obviously. Um, this fashion, you know, you know, if you've shot, you know, close range at the right place, you, you could actually do it with a 22 long rifle. But generally speaking, a 223 on up to any of these uh, through here will uh, work for hogs too. Uh, the next one is a popular uh, little 44 Magnum uh, pistol cartridge, which, uh, you know, this also versatile uh, deer hunting round. And uh, I've shot one deer with 44 Magnum, did a great job. You know, limit your uh, your yardage out to say 100 yards. You know, it, it does fine, uh, but it's not typically something that a lot of people hunt with. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not going to tell you go out there and buy a 44 Magnum because so many different other cartridges here that works so much better. But if you have a 44 Magnum, 
you know, hunt with it, man. It, it, it will work and it does a great job. Uh, the next one here is a 4570. This particular round right here, uh, this is a great round uh, as far as, you know, uh, hunting big game animals. I mean, it has a lot of punch to it. Uh, I, I'll be honest with you, you can almost put it in the almost same category as this 375 H&H &H Mag. Um, now, if I was going out there hunting some kind of ferocious animal, you know, in Africa somewhere, uh, I would take the 375 over this, but this would be a close second. I'll just be honest with you. Um, and it's a tolerable recoil to it. I mean, it's pretty stiff, but, you know, you can tolerate it just as this 375. Uh, but as far as deer hunting and stuff, I mean, I've shot several deer with this 4570. It does a great job. Uh, you'll find this round in a lot of uh, lever action rifles, and they do have a single action at rifles chamber in this round. So I kind of discusses the center fire cartridge as far as uh, hunt rifles and with the rim fire, this 22 long rifle is a rim fire. There, now there's a lot more cartridges that, that I don't have uh, as far as, you know, listed here and you know, showing you today uh, just because I never hunted with them. But there's so many of them out there that, you know, bukus of them that would work. And a lot of this just got to do with shot placement. That's the important thing, shot placement, getting to know your firearm, how to shoot it, feel comfortable shooting it. But maybe this could give you a little idea um, if you're looking to buy a rifle and want to know which direction to go uh, as far as what caliber or what cartridge to buy. So last here, we're going to talk shotgun shells. Uh, I have a 410 shotgun. That's what we're starting off tonight on. And... Uh, that that's a that's a good little shotgun shell to you know start out with. It's good for like squirrel hunting and rabbit hunting. And, uh, I've never shot a deer with a 410, but you know they have buckshot and slugs that you can uh, purchase uh, this 410 with. So uh, I guess it, you know you could use it on deer, but uh, that's one of the things that I'm not familiar with. I've never shot a deer, so I really can't say nothing about it on that part. Uh, 20 gauge it steps up it has more recoil than its little 410 uh, that's what some are shooting you've seen in the video her shooting that's a great uh, uh, round card I mean uh, shotgun shell as far as uh, squirrel hunting rabbit hunting um, also you know I, ain't, I haven't mentioned dove hunting I don't dove hunt but these these shotguns you know you can dove hunt and dove hunt with them and so 20 gauge is a great round for all that uh, also, your 12 gauge, uh, that's a, have more recoil than your 20 gauge, so kind of step up here. It's going to have more recoil as you go, but it's not significant. It's, 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 you know, it's not that great of a difference. Uh, depending on your weight of your gun, uh, that makes a difference on how one recoils. And, um, but a 12 gauge and a 20 gauge is going to be most popular. Um, I've shot deer with 20 gauge, and it does a good, great job. But you land at range anytime you hunt with a shotgun, you know, unless you're shooting a slug. Shooting a slug, you know, you shoot a lot further. But uh, I just wanted to bring y'all this little video today. Maybe it would share some insight on uh, some ammunition uh, that maybe, you know, cartridges that you consider about buying or maybe need a little bit more information on. Like I said, do your research on it. Um, the main thing is the safety, you know, be safe with it, you know, lock your firearms up, you know, if you have kids and um, make sure they're trained properly to use them, make sure you're there when they're using them, you know, until they're old enough to use them on their own. Uh, that, that's the biggest thing, you know, safety. Now, I, I started talking about gun safety with my kids when they were old enough to understand, at least I thought they'd understand, like two years old. Now, I started like two years old talking to my kids about gun safety and three years old. Because, you know, we have guns in the house, and you know, I want to make sure, you know, they understand guns. Even though they're locked up, I still want to talk to them about it and tell them, you know, uh, gun, guns are dangerous, you know. And uh, training them to use them. I want to properly, you know, show them how to use them and safely use them. Uh, that, 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 that's very important, it's gun safety. But um, hope y'all enjoyed today's video. I mean, I enjoy talking about all this. It's so so, so many different things, you know, you can talk about as far as uh, uh, hunting and different guns. Stuff. And I even get, began talking about, you know, as far as what type of guns to purchase and the difference between them. 
mainly today's video is just based on about the cartridges and shotgun shells that you know and give you a little bit of insight on them so uh, that's not that I'm an expert on any of this I'm just kind of giving you uh, my experience with them and uh, but uh, for for in this video real quick I, I want to talk about the shotgun shells uh, as far as home defense uh, a good home defense uh, uh, gun would be a shotgun uh, in a 20 gauge or a 12 gauge either one of them would make great um, defense guns for your home um, so that's just something to consider to be a dual purpose farm you know you could deer hunt with you could uh, hunt small game you could hunt doves ducks and also deer and whatever you know bear so you know if you just want to buy one gun I say buy a shotgun it's a wide range of uh, purpose a shotgun uh, to be used for uh, so but the little 22 long rifle that's another little um, car a little round right there that you know you probably want to consider just the fact about you know learning to um, hunt you know shoot a rifle and I say you can hunt the squirrel and rabbit differently like that with it and, and it's cheap ammunition so hope y'all enjoy today's video and leave your comments down below I like to uh, hear what you got to say about if you got like a special car you like hunting with or some that I didn't mention because so many different ones I didn't mention here today that mean just some just amazing hunt cartridges. The main thing is practice, practice, practice. Get good with what you have, and uh, that's the one you need. That, that's the one you need to hunt with. One that you can uh, safely shoot, comfortable shooting. Because if you can't if you can't shoot a three hundred Magnum, you know there's no purpose buying one. But if you can shoot that two twenty three right here. This one that I would consider, you know, buying if that's the one you can shoot. But uh, it all depends on what you're comfortable shooting. But uh, my 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 favorite one that I hunt with most time is a three hunt Magnum, thirty out six. And my wife's, let me see here. Let me pull the wrong one here. The seven millimeter seven millimeter oh eight. Uh, that's 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 the cartridge we hunt with most time. Um, the other one I, I enjoy hunting with um, is a forty five seventy. Also, the two seventy. And I go hunt my wife, wife's guns sometimes. So, if I had to pick any cartridge, my favorite would be them right there. That's my favorite ones right there. 30 out 6 being my most favorite. It's, it, it to me doesn't have much recoil and uh, you can it does a great job and two savings right there right with it. I mean just great cartridges. My wife likes this little 7 millimeter 08 and it, it's a great cartridge as well. 300 Magnum I'll be honest with you. It's more powerful than 30 out 6 but when when I harvest a uh, deer, I can't tell much difference with it. You know, it's just a longer range gun and a cartridge, and it's not really necessary for where I hunt by habit. And so I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna use it, you know, and switch my guns up, you know, and hunt different ones. And like I said, the 4570, it's it's a great little round there also. I like I enjoy hunting that uh, cartridge also. But yeah, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you like hunting with, and if you have any. Uh, any comments, you know, anything. Like I say, this is not to say that this is what you should go buy anything, but I just want to share uh, this video with you all day, my thoughts on uh, these different hunting uh, caliber and cartridges. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, for my family's years, y'all have a blessed day, friends. See y'all later. Good hunting. Bye-bye. <laughs>